Today's unwilling contestant here with the support dogs. We got Shandy, and Molly. So we're going to rip the uh, stainless steel drum out of this, all the cabling we can out the back, the motor, and uh, the rest of it. The nice people from the local council are going to come and take away. Because as you know, I don't deal in steel, and frankly, I don't want any cement. <laughs> so let's see how we can get on. I'm going to lie it flat and then we'll go in through the back. No jokes, please. Thank you. Bye-bye. In saying that, I've just noticed. This is an indesit. My one at home is an indesit. Mine has a faulty door lock. I'm going to take the door and the door lock off this as well. So, luckily on this one, there's just two screws. One, two, and then you'll have the whole hinge and everything. And here, same kind of thing. Two star security bolts. And it goes into there. But what the hell, may as well have it. It might not fit totally brilliantly, but what the hell. May as well have it, as opposed to not having it. As it's going to the dump anyway, may as well take it off. What's it cost us? A little bit of time? Hardly. Right, all I've got to do is get the correct size screwdriver, because this one is too small. Ten second job, but just be a little bit careful with these. They're not the greatest quality steel, uh, so they can shear off if you're a bit too you know, gusto with it. And a lot of this is plastic. I mean, a lot of the parts in here are plastic, and that's what's gone on mine. Solder iron it back together, but how long will that hold? Always handy to have a spare. All right. Yeah, I couldn't find the proper star screwdriver drive, so as with everything, a bit of brute force there, and uh, you know, shove one in and keep going to you know, see crap on. Bit of friction. Lol. Anyhow, pull this. Well, now she's standing on her head. Obviously, motor. Yeah, we want that. Should be a wheel on the back that the motor connects to. That'll be cast aluminium. A pump, oh, that's dark. Sorry, kids, there we go. I'm standing my own shadow. Pump in there, so there's obviously going to be a motor in there. There's wiring harness that goes around, Wee! pull all that off. Have all your wires always, uh, as well. Always have a look in the front here. There's usually pennies or something in the filter. Just an idea. Let's see if we can pull this off. You pull this bit of white plastic off the front. Hold on, all right, hold on, just get a bit of shot on that. So, there you are, like a fuel filler cap. This is the filter cover. Might be a two-handed job. Oh, no. Oh, hold on. Yeah, more than a two-handed job. Watch some uh, <laughs> screwdrivers in there and turn it. Let's see what we get. Nothing! Shame. All right, on, onwards and upwards. Let's get this out. Let's see. Stop standing in my light. I might be away. Right, as you can see, some bolts here. And further down the other side of here, and then it should pretty much just slide out. You can have the whole unit as is. You never know, it might still work. Not good as a spare, but also it's got a lot of copper in, as we know. All right, hold on. Let's whip that out. So let's get on there like that. And off you go. And carry on going forever and ever and ever and ever and ever, and eventually it will come out on your quarter turns. I'll watch this space. Bolts are out. This thing should easily slide out. Just remember to take this off, the band. Also, because this is an interior, you'll find those are very sharp ends. And for once, I actually found that out by looking and not by shredding my hands. There you go, there's a change. <laughs> right, so I'm going to undo that belt. I'm not going to film it because that's going to go awry and I've cut my hand. Ra, 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 ra. And then it should just uh, slot out that. And then we're going to see if we can get the actual stainless steel drum out, which is what I actually want. But if we can't get it, I'll leave it. I don't care. Okay, bye-bye. So, that easy came off with my friend Mr. Spank here. We just <coughs> tapped it out. It came along the little plastic rails and off it came over to here. There we go. All complete. Lots of copper. Lots of copper. So, there you go. Uh, put all the wiring harness down the back there so when we flip this the other way, after taking this pump off, we'll be able to crack the, the lid Take the control board and all that and all the wires out there. Okay, time for this thing. Let's have a good bunch this first. A couple of screws in the front. Popped it right off. And look, see? Shiny, shiny. So, I mean, these are security screws, but frankly, I just want to pull this off. I think I'm going to do that because I haven't got the actual security screw thing. I think it's time for a bigger hammer. <laughs> Let's see if we can separate that. Or plan B, where my thumb is, just cut through the plastic there, it should, should, should pull out. 
Hmm, that's well engineered. I'll save that one for later. Look at that. Ooh, lots and lots. But I just can't really go into it right now because I've got to clear the way for this. <sighs> on we go. Time to flip her. Remove the hatch on the back. As you can see, I've already disconnected most of the cabling. It goes down there towards the control centre, which we'll get to in a second. This, cast aluminium. I might even have the right size screw for that. You never know. Get rid of the drive belt. I don't need it. I can't think of any reason to keep it. Hmm, let's see if we've got the right tool for the job. Yeah, that we smash it off. Hmm, let's see. No, I didn't have the right tool for the right job. So use that hammer and that and made myself a huge Mercedes steering wheel. <laughs> ah, well, I can be bothered looking or drilling it out. Didn't want to make too much noise. Anywho, remember kids, what did I say? Check the filter. Well, I heard something go when I pulled the uh, motor. What is this? <coughs> it was once. Hold on. It would say 50p. Well, it was once. I wonder whether that's shine up or nothing or something. Oh, here we in. Now we're in date. It's not one of the old ones. Yeah, it's not thick enough. Right, cracking 50p up already. <coughs> anyway, time to get the top off. Let's get the rest of the wires out. And then we'll move on to the drum. Which I've got to admit, I'm not too... Don't really know how to do it, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. If not, there's always the, uh, the axe. <coughs> Yeah, I'm just going to as much of this as I can. So it's still attached. I've undone it at the back, but we'll see. Okay, top off, lady. As ever, it's going to get really slimy around here, okay? So best way to do it is just give it a... Like that. Which I've done already. Here's one I did earlier. Look at that, it's going. Just didn't want it to fall on the car, because I'd be in trouble. Right, so that's going to go away now. Bye. No magic cars here. But, uh, hold on. Get my hands free. Right, concrete. We don't want that. But, uh, there you go, you got a lot of big lot of wire in there, lovely. Disconnect it from here, disconnect it from there, and that's where the wire comes in from the back. All this, lovely. Yeah, it's big enough to be stripped. So we disconnect it all, pull all that, then we'll get onto the drum. There's always handy to have as well. Bit of rubber hose down the side. Anyway, uh, we're up to here with the wire, we're going to go around there, undo all that. I'm chopping off the finer stuff, because what's the point really? Uh, we'll get to that, then the drum. Mm. Lots of good copper wire. And now the cords off. Woohoo! Right, let's see what we have to do to get this. <coughs> I want it, but have a look see. Oh, this is going to be a job and a half, isn't it? I'm not going to like this, am I? Right, I'm going to give it a good butchers and see what I come up with. I want to be a. Uh, it would seem <laughs> that it's sealed inside the plastic here. So the easiest way to do it is get the axe and go around, sh 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 smash it out, and just pull the whole thing out. This is a lot of work for very little return. Hmm. I have to have me a think about this one. I think I might even consult YouTube. If there's an easier way I'll do it. If there's not, I might not bother. <laughs> I'll have a think on that one. Because I do want a beer. I am on a holiday, by the way. Anyway, I'm going to think. Bye. Decision made. <laughs> it's already wet. I've got all the copper I can get out of it. Got some aluminium, front door. And, uh, well, it's a couple of little motors. Well, a huge, massive motor, obviously. Uh, that's too much effort for me. I know, I'm slacking. This, this from the man that scrapped an armchair. But I'm already 50p up <laughs> from, from inside the filter. So I'm just going to put it back together, get the back plate back on. There you are. Uh, dump all the rubbish that I don't want in it. Uh, I'm not injured for once, so I'm going to quit while I'm ahead and have me a tasty beer. Then we've got a microwave and a dishwasher for later on. So, let's see. I'm going to hit the YouTubes and see if there's an easier way. I'm not hammering that out because to get it on the car or cause any more damage. This is not my place, I'm on uh, holiday, so if it causes any damage, don't want to do it. I'm already a bit regretting having the water on the floor. Maybe we should have put something down, but yeah, whatever. You know, never know. Anyway, uh, for me, for now, that's it.
Yeni